Actually, the gopis are speaking now because they're saying, Kurvantihi Twai Ratim Kushala Swatman, which we read that. Kurvantihi Twai Ratim Kushala Swatman. The gopis are telling Krishna, those who are intelligent, which means Kushala, they have love for you. This love is natural and eternally present in their hearts. You are the uh, you are the object of possession, and you are eternally the object of affection for intelligent people. When the affection they have for their husbands, whereas the affection intelligent people that fall in love with you have for husbands, sons, and family are only conditional, therefore temporary. This is the Gopi speaking. But we don't have this kind of affection for our relatives. Nitya priye pati sutta adibir. So adibir, sutta pati sutta adibir. Adibir means beginning with, including. We have our pati, our husband. We have our sutta, which means our children. Jasara sutta or Jagannath sutta or Vrishabhanu Nandini or Vrishabhanu sutta. There's sets in that Munindra uh, Vrindavandate Chiloka Shoka Harani Prasana Bhaksha Pankaje Nikunja Bhuvilasani Prajendra Suna Sangate Prajendra. He says Suno. Suno or Sutta means the son of Rishabhana or the son of Nanda Maharaj. So, we, like intelligent people that fall in love with you, we don't have any such affection for these relatives, Pati Sutta Adi. They only give us. Arti Dai Kim. They give us suffering. They give us misery and trouble. Why? How do they give us misery and trouble? Because they're preventing us from meeting you. What is the need for them? Therefore, be merciful and save our lives. You may not want to let the married gopis live, <laughs> but why make the unmarried gopis cry? <laughs> it must be the unmarried gopis speaking. As different groups of gopis are speaking, because different go- groups of gopis are there. Jiva Goswami said in his previous purports that Krishna was surrounded on four sides by four groups of gopis, although he doesn't give the details. And sometimes gopis would speak to him from the northern direction, so he'd look like this. And sometimes they'd speak from the southern direction, and he would turn around like this. And sometimes they would speak from the eastern direction. So he was like getting bombarded from all sides, you know, boom, boom, boom. (laughs) What about this and what about that? So here, (laughs) apparently, some gopis were saying, maybe you're you're trying to kill us by sending us home. Well, okay, if you're going to kill us, don't kill all of us. Just kill the married gopis and send them home. (laughs) This is Vishra. So there's definitely some party spirit, although later, even Radharani, she cares for all the gopis, and she tells Krishna, oh, I, the other gopis are searching for us, and they must be missing you, and I'm also missing my gopis. It's not fair that I enjoy you all by myself. Why not go look for them? So then Krishna, he, he looked for them, and they all joined together. So this is the actual mood of the unmarried or married gopis, is that, they want all the gopis to share and enjoy Krishna equally, even at their so-called own expense. Radharani is intimately embracing and enjoying Krishna in the solitary Nibritta Kunj, in the most sweet and relishful moments of our existence, and the Sambhidivan Sambhog, completely enriched and fully satisfying union with the beloved. And even then she says, Oh, Krishna... She's remembering. She never forgets her devotees. This is the point. This is the main point. Krishna sometimes forgets his devotees, but Radharani never forgets. So Krishna's, even he tells the gopis, he says, oh, how can I repay your love? Because my mind, sometimes I'm forgetting you when I remember your shoulder, and sometimes I'm forgetting you when I'm remembering Balaram and serving them. So I, my love is divided. My my fixation is divided, but you, 24-7, you're nanya, nanya, bak, nanya chintiyanto mam yejana paripashate. Your mind is ananya krishna bhakti. There's no one else. It's Krishna, 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 and Krishna. There's no mother, there's no father, there's no brother, there's no sister, there's no wife, there's no husband, there's no mother-in-law, there's just Krishna. 
Even sometimes Radharani and her, and her praying be Brahm, she, she turns and sees Jatila or Kutila in her house. She says, oh, Sham, oh, Krishna. I mean, I mean my, my cow named Sham. Where is Sham? Have you seen my cow named Sham? <laughs> 